Hey, Pete, North Las Vegas. Hey, I did a video, I don't know, maybe it's been a couple of weeks, maybe longer, I don't know. Kind of lose track of time these days. But anyway, I made a video on the uh, Ruger Mini 14 that I own and how this thing would just really launch brass. I mean, 12 to 15 yards uh, away from the rifle. And this is uh, pretty much the exact same spot I shot at last time. And you can see that uh, piece of black graded plastic whatever it is out there that's how far away this rifle was uh was throwing brass so that's about 12 12 15 yards so i decided that i was going to do something uh, to try to calm this thing down so i found uh an online business uh calls himself uh, accuracy systems and he specializes in a lot of uh, mini 14 accessories and uh aftermarket stuff that will uh, fix the overgassed uh, problem on the Ruger Mini 14 and uh, so what I did was I installed his his adjustable gas block he sells three different versions of this um, one of his versions the uh, gas adjust is on the front right here he sells another one with the uh, strut incorporated and it looks like the gas adjust is out here on the, on the end of his strut and because I was running a different strut this is made by a company called true shot I couldn't use his gas adjust block up here so I ended up using his uh, third version and the gas adjust is down here so uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, try to get the gas system uh, dialed in to where it's not chucking brass 12-15 yards away from the rifle uh, another problem I mentioned in the video was the uh, the uh, bolt lug on the side of the, the bolt was starting to get hammered on the inside track of the uh, charging handle because it was just cycling so hard it was starting to get a little flat spot and for this serial number series which is the 190 series ruger does not sell a lot of parts for it anymore and they don't have any more bolts or bolt carriers so part of the reason i'm uh putting this adjustable gas system on is just to try to uh, tone the rifle down and keep it from beating itself up and uh, get get more longevity out of the rifle anyway uh, here's the ammo I'll be using today and I'm gonna adjust the uh, the gas block so hopefully it runs all three of these and just uh, ejects the ammo in a more reasonable fashion anyway it's uh supposed to rain here in about another couple hours and it's actually kind of cold it's probably low 40s up here where I'm at and uh, rained a little bit yesterday a couple days before that it was really windy so I've been wanting to get this this Ruger mini 14 out and, and adjust the gas but uh, finally got a little break in the weather so we'll, we'll see what happens today Okay, so that was just a test round and uh, bolt head back, held back open. I only put one round in it. And that was just a one round function check just to see what was going to happen. Uh, I didn't happen to notice where it ejected. Um, so I'm probably going to turn the gas down until it stops ejecting and then uh, start cranking it back up from there and get this thing where, where I want it. Um, I also put their uh, what they call their extra power recoil spring in and their buffer and I can tell already this thing is way smoother shooting so now it's just a matter of adjusting the gas okay so I found the brass uh, I couldn't find the brass on my first shot it's kind of overcast today but um Here it is right here and this is probably let's see one two three four five six seven uh probably about six or seven yards so i've cut down the ejection distance in half i also looked at the brass 
and it's not dinged as much. It used to ding the brass on the, on the mouth of the neck pretty bad, and now it's just got a very small ding. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn my gas down. Yeah. Let's see what happens with a about a quarter turn. Okay, so now we'll fire another another round and see how far it goes. And I'm going to keep turning the gas down until I'm satisfied that you know it locks back on the last round and it's not ejecting the brass like it used to. But already it's a 50% improvement, and the rifle feels way smoother with that new. Uh, uh, extra power recoil spring that I, that I also got from Accuracy Systems. Okay, I'm not aiming at anything. Right now I'm just pulling the trigger and seeing where the brass goes. So, like, I just turned the gas down about a quarter turn, so we'll see what happens. Okay. That one landed out here. So I put about a quarter turn on the gas. It's over here somewhere. I just saw it land. Here it is. So the other brass is right here. So it went the same distance, but it ended up in a slightly different spot, and that could have been just because of the way I was holding the rifle. Anyway, it is this this is the last round I just fired. And even though it ejected about the same distance, it did not ding the neck like it usually does. That was the first round with a very slight ding. So uh I'm gonna go about another quarter turn and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I got it dialed in towards uh, ejecting anywhere from about 12 to 15 feet versus 223 or 556, five, and that's with uh, XTAC PMC, uh, American Eagle, and Remington 223. Um, it is ejecting in different spots depending on where the round's sitting on the magazine. If the round's off to the right or the round's off to the left, or if it's the last round, um, it'll eject in slightly different places, but it's only going about 12 to 15 feet So I guess that's just a characteristic of uh, my mini 14 is Depending on which side of the mag it's feeding from dictates exactly which direction the brass goes, but As I said in the earlier clips this rifle is running so much smoother and I'm gonna take some uh, Some Loctite And I'm gonna take the set screw and we're gonna lock the adjustment down. And uh, if I need to adjust it some other day, okay. But for right now, 45, 50 degrees, type of ammunition I'm using, this thing is set. Okay, so now that we have the gas adjusted, um, the rifle seems to be a lot more accurate than when I was out here a few weeks ago. Um, Mini 14 is generally if you shoot 3M away or better, that's that's pretty good for a Mini 14. Now this is only 10 yards, but I'm doing a a 50 200 yard zero at 10 yards. That's four shots at 10 yards, 1.9 inches. So I should be zeroed for 50 and 200. That was the very first shot I fired this morning when I just wanted to see where I was at on the on the gas. Anyway, I'm gonna get this out to 50 yards, and if uh, 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 even though that's 10 yards for a mini 14 that's when you stack them in the same hole well, that's pretty darn good anyway we'll get this out to 50 yards see what happens okay so this is my group at 50 yards before I uh, adjust the scope I just wanted to see if it would group well and it's grouping really well. This is 1.9, almost two inches. So that's what we're shooting at 50 yards.
with a Ruger Mini 14. So I'm gonna make some scope adjustments and we're gonna try to get up here into the black dot. Okay, so we've run into another snag. Um, I got the rifle toned down. I got the gas adjusted where the rifle's not beating itself up. Um, but that's where the brass was hitting the cap before I took it off, before I started making scope adjustments. So um, it's, it's changed the, uh, the ejection enough to where it's, it's now hitting the scope. And I got a few dings on the uh, the turret up here. So I think this is gonna end up being a non-scope rifle. And although I am happy with the gas adjust, it will help the rifle to last longer. Um, it's <sighs> Solve one problem, create another. Anyway, uh, just gonna use the rifle without a scope. So that's where we're at today. Later, Pete, North Las Vegas. Okay, so took my scope off in the earlier clip. I was showing you where, after toning the gas down, it started uh, beating the snot out of my scope. So I pulled the scope off and we went to iron sights. These are my first four shots. I knocked a chuck off of that. Then I did uh, three more shots, or I'm sorry, four more shots. And that was my last three with uh, 2 2 Remington. So that was the last of my American Eagle. That was PMC, and that was Remington 223. So this is two inches. So you can see it's. It's shooting a decent group and it's shooting at about an inch and a half, let's say, at 50 yards. So the rifle is probably a three MOA rifle, if I wanted to be honest. Um, definitely shoots way better than four. So the rifle is, for Mini 14, it's, it's kind of accurate, uh, probably more accurate than most Mini 14s. Um, so what have we learned today? Well. <laughs> What I've learned is a Mini 14 is a Mini 14, and although you can make some improvements, unless I wanted to go really full tilt with this thing and put a bull barrel on it and just, you know, really, really spend some money on it and accurize it, I've just had to accept the fact that it is what it is. It's a Mini 14. So anyway, um, I feel like some of the day was successful. Like I said, with the adjustable gas block, we got the rifle toned down. It's not beating the snot out of itself, and it's throwing the brass anywhere from about 15 feet to maybe 20 feet now versus 12 yards and 15 yards before I put the gas block on. So that part was kind of successful. The part that wasn't so successful is by changing the gas on the rifle. It also changed the, uh, the way the brass ejects, which is why it was hitting the scope. So anyway, uh, kind of a partial success successful day I just won't run a scope on this rifle like I said it's it's a mini 14 it is what it is uh, Pete North Las Vegas over and out